hello everyone welcome back to my channel twisted paper studio how are you i just want to check that this is straight it is okay <laughs> welcome back to my channel twisted paper studio i hope you are all well it is uh day 25 of the 100 day craft project and we're gonna get started here today um i'm pre-recording so as to um i'm going to be helping out with zero tomorrow I am feeling better. It was like a 24 hour thing. I'm feeling better. Um, Zero, on the other hand, they found out he, he might be allergic to bananas. Oh, he was trying food for the first time and I'm allergic to bananas. Can you believe it? He inherited some of me. Oh, my little man. Okay, but he took Benadryl and he's fine. Um, so let's get started with today. I have, um, if you're seeing this video, I have a new digital kit in my shop. I did tell you guys that I had, you know, lots in the works, so I was going to be releasing in them so I could work with them. So this is a tall, skinny collage kit, and this is one of the pages. This is one of the pages. This is one. This is one. <laughs> there are eight pages. And then there are eight backing pages. So I'll show you those in just a moment. This is, I don't know, I can't tell you which one's my favorite. I keep, I keep making them all and they're all my favorite. So those are the fronts. And then these are the backs. I love them all. And I've yet to work with um, the um, brown bunny one that I released and the antiquity, but I'm getting to all that. We should be making um, books throughout this 100 days. So I just, I have an order right now that I have to get done. And so <laughs> I'm trying to do that. Okay, so I am going to um, make a book. Yes, I am. I don't really know how. I was thinking of maybe using this as the cover. It's very hard. Um, it was like a file folder. It's like an antique. So I was thinking of using this as the cover. And... I don't know we're just gonna get started I really don't know how I'm gonna um, fold these in half and then of course I need to um, pick out book pages to go in between um and other sheets of paper too um, maybe some coffee dyed paper but I figured we'll just get started and I'll do it with you right here we can um, do it together I'm just, I'm loving this, you guys, so much. Now, remember, I print on matte photo paper, and my printer is an Epson 8500. You may not get the same color results if you don't print on photo paper. So, um, it could be, you know, a little different in color than what mine look like here on camera. But these are the true colors that it would be if you printed on photo paper. All right, so we know we have eight digitals. I'm thinking I'm only going to do one signature. I'm pretty sure I'm only going to do one signature. Um, I'll get started here. I'm not sure if I want to bend this in half. I don't think I can, but we're going to find out. We are. So I believe this is eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, it's nine. So we need to find the four and a half is the center. I don't think I can make, I'm just wondering, can I make, hmm, if it's nine and I want it eight and a half, I'm wondering if I can make a, um, What's that called? <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm wondering if I could do that and make a, I should get my scoreboard. No, cause it's not gonna work anyway. I wonder. 
Let me grab it. Hold on. Might as well. Whoops. <laughs> it's okay. It wasn't anything important. Let me see if I can create it to be, to have a, um, a spine. Oh, yeah, I couldn't get the word out of my mouth. A spine. All right, so this is at nine and a half. That's nine and a half. Why did I count? Why did I count? Um, why did I count eight and a half? Oh, I know why, because I didn't count that. Okay, so at nine and a half, the center for nine and a half would be... Now, don't mind me because I can't do math. So, four and a half and four and a half would be nine. So, it's it would be, that would be the center. Okay. So, now I would need to pick one mark on one side. This is how I figure this out, you guys. So, at four and a half and at five, I'm pretty sure at four and a half and at five. So, at nine... Four and a half would be the mark at nine. So four and a half and four and a half would be nine. And then it would be a whole half inch where I would need. So it would be the quarter. Yeah. All right. So the quarter is the center. That's the true center. And then I would do a line here. I'm trying to see. It's not going to work. I'm going to need the ruler. I'm trying to see if I can do a, a spine. I don't know. We'll see. It's very thick. I don't know if any of you have any of these. But it is very, very thick. Very old file folder. Like, uh, but not even a, I don't even, it's not even a file folder. I'm sorry. It's like a file folder material, but it is, um, it is not. It is a, like, um, how would you say? Um, it's like a file folder material, but it's a, I'm wondering if that will go. Bear with me here. Should I do it on the other side too? Or should I just try this? We're doing this together, people. <laughs> my, my crafting buddies. All right, so four and a half and five is where it's centered. Let's try it on this side too. Let me use this bone folder here. Four and a half and five. Oh, I can see the line through here, so possibly it's going to work. Oops, let me get this one. I can see it. So maybe it will make the spine. You never know. Um, I don't know if I finished what I was saying, but it's like a, it's like a file folder material, like a really old file folder material, but it is not. It is, I think it's a separator. In an old office like type setting thing. Okay. All right. Let's let's see if we can get this to fold to make a spine. Maybe. Oh no. Oh yeah, it's going on the line. It is. Okay. Let me do some more. Possibly we can get it, you guys. Possibly. I hope it doesn't break. Although I'm going to reinforce it. Huh. It is a little, it's a separating a little, but I don't think it's going to hold up because it is um, very, very strong. Like mega strong. <laughs> so strong I can't even get my hand to bend it but we're gonna try why does that seem like it's a little bit 
wider. Let me just try this one more time. I want to make sure that that went straight, that line. Whoops. This five, this five inches. It's straight up at the top. Oh, look at that. There we go. Let me just make the line a little bit stronger because it looks like it's over there, but that's not the line. Okay, possibly that will work now. And I'm not sure if any of you have any of these, but if you want to give it a try, I think I have some that I can put in my Etsy shop. Um, because, you know, in my thrifting days, I bought a box of them, so I figured, why not use them? I see the line here. Let me try to make it more prominent. Now, I'm going to cover that with fabric, so I'm not concerned. I'm not overly concerned. Oops. I'm trying to get it to bend where the mark is, not where anything else is. <laughs> Let me see if I could do it this way first, and then we'll rebend it the other way. <sighs> we just got to get this part up. Don't mind me. There we go. Okay. I got it to bend on the line. Let me see if I could bring it back this way. Jeez Louise. Maybe we're better off getting a file folder. But I did want to use these because I have them. <laughs> and they are pretty strong. Just possibly so used to not being bent in a certain way that um, it's take, it's taken me too long to do this. <laughs> there we go. Okay, here we go. Come on now. We did it. Okay. So I'm going to, of course, this is separating. I'm going to um, definitely cover it with fabric. And it looks like it's just the paper part that's coming up, which is good because then that means I could use these dang things. Okay, and then let's do this side. we did it oh I love it yeah so it's just the paper that's lifting that's all oh I love it let's see how the paper will look in there I just I like these things too they're really cool this goes in there but maybe we could put something else in there aren't those cool wow I like it Maybe we could use it, something to tie that close. Okay, let's see about the paper. Perfect. How perfect. Okay, now we need some paper, regular paper. Um, oh, the, I didn't give out my beautiful blessings. I will, I will, I will. Right now I'm looking for book page. <laughs> So I had to move my stuff back here to get to my book page. Hold on. Uno momento. Okay. Let me give out my beautiful blessings so I don't forget, okay? Um, let's see. 
Um, give me one moment. Okay. Beautiful blessings to Jerry Gwynn. Welcome, Jerry. She's new to my channel. Beautiful blessings to Flan, Fran Ashfield. She said she was doing the project I did last night. So, yay, Fran. Let me know how it came out. Um, beautiful blessings to Norma Barrett. And beautiful blessings to Sandra Robinson. Beautiful blessings to you. Thank you so much for commenting on my channel. So, I know you are there. Okay. So, let's get started here. I have some papers in here. I think I'm just going to do one signature. So, um... Let's see, I have those. Let's use let's use some of those. And I don't know how those are gonna go. We'll use one of those. Um that that I think this was left over from something else I did. I'm trying not to hit the camera on you guys. We'll use that. And well, that's pretty cool. How about a bunny page? And let's see. I'm looking, I'm looking. some short ones and this one I think that's good or maybe we'll do one of these whoopsie um oh and how about a piece of ledger okay I think um <laughs> I think too I think I think too much okay Maybe some book pages. Um, I'm just looking to make sure. Make I gotta make sure. I think that's good. Yeah. Just to give some different character in there. Okay. I think. I think we're done. I think so. I hope so. How about one more of Richard Scary? <laughs> I like Richard Scary, especially in the buddy books. Okay. Close that up. Let's take a look now. See what I did. I don't even know if I'll use all of them, but we'll see. Okay, so I have my I have my pages here. And you guys, let me know in the comments if you might like if you might like to try. I think I have some to spare. I'll have to take a look. You let me know in the comments, and I'll let you know when I put them in my shop if I have them. I really do think I have some to spare. I like this like that. Oh yeah. I like that. Um, let's see. I'm not even going to tear the edges off these pages. I like the rough edges on the pages. I really do. I'll put this in here. And we'll do this here. I'm not really worried about what's on the papers because I can cover them with digitals, other digitals that I have. I'm wondering, I don't think this is going to fit this Richard Scary like this. Hold on. I don't think it's going to. So I may do a, no. Okay, so I'm gonna, is it long, too long? Oh, actually, it's just the right height almost. Okay, so what I'm going to do is kind of make it um, skinnier 
And then I'll fold this part back and I'll do all the trimming up another time. So that's good, I like that. Okay. And then, let's see, we'll use this, some book page. And how about another digital? How about we turn it around? So the image is on the inside, okay. And we'll use this. Like that. And then we'll go here. And here. Oh, I love it. And here. And hmm. I love I love putting together books, you guys. Can you tell? <laughs> I think we'll just fold this in and fold this in. And that's a piece of Richard Scary. Hmm. Maybe we'll do the same thing. And fold that in like that. Good. And we'll get another book page here. Good. And then how about this? And, oh, let me see what I want my center. Oh, I'll have that as my center. Okay. And how about, oh, I'm sorry. Did I hit the camera? I didn't mean to. And I think I'm going to turn it this way. I did that once before. I liked it. That way. do this and then turn it this way so we can kind of add an extension on somehow let me see that I got it straight it's rather thick paper okay and then let's see We'll do this. There. And this. And then, oh, how about this one? Love it. And we'll do, how about a painted page? Another painted page. This is just my own personal painted pages. And how about a, look at that, Hermes. We'll do a Hermes page. Uh, how about this way? And then I'll cover the collage, the back. And we will do this in the center. Good. I think we're good. We do have leftover, but we're going to take a look and see how it pans out here. And of course, I'm going to have to crease everything a little bit better. Oh my goodness. Luscious, luscious, luscious. Oh, I love it. And it fits beautifully in your hand love it okay so i'm gonna have to trim up these papers so let's do that oh i'm in love i'm in love i'm so glad i'm so glad i tried that okay where'd my cutter go well i just had it oh duh. it's 
right here. I am so silly. All right, so now let's get our measurements. Oh, wait, maybe I should get my bigger cutter. Let's get our measurements so that um, I can do it without thinking if I have my measurements. So I have to be less than 11 and a half and less than, I have to be at four. So I have to be at least four by 11. All right, so we know we don't need that. We know we don't need this. And I really don't think I need that. As long as they're, yeah, I don't need that. I don't need that. I need this. <laughs> so we'll have to go less than 11. So I'm just, I'm not going to take off a lot. I'm just going to take off the bottom. Okay. And then let's see. I don't think I need that. I'm pretty sure I don't. But you never know. Let me check. Nope. And it would be nice if it was straight. The fold is crooked. Okay. I don't need that or that or that. I do need the ledger paper. So the ledger paper, I never like to cut the ledger paper. So maybe we'll just lift it up. So it's going to be this way. We'll lift it up to do a pocket. I'll put it this way. And then we could just do a pocket on the inside. I hardly ever like to cut the ledger paper. I love the whole piece in there. Okay, so we have these two. We'll make that the size of the um, digital, the two small pieces. This we know we don't need to cut, but I probably should, you know, make my mark in them better. The digital we know we don't need to cut. This we don't need to cut. Let me just make my crease better. Okay. And then this we don't need to cut, but I should make my crease better. So what I do with the, um, home folders, okay, good. Now, whoopsie, this piece, I'm not sure. Let's double check it. Make my mark better, my line. And it needs to be shorter than 11. So I could take off the top and the bottom without missing any of the paper. Good, we're good. Okay, that was fine. I just had to take off the bottom. And then the digital is fine. And now this page here, I can remove from the bottom. So let's go ahead and do that. Ooh, and then we don't lose anything. Okay. And then here I don't need to do anything. It's my own painted papers. Here, it's the same size as the digital. Okay, there we go. Now, we have this here. I'm just wondering, oopsie. I'm just wondering if it's too thick, but that's okay, because I can, um, I think I'll just cut 
some of them. All right, so maybe I should do that. Just a few from the inner parts. That's it. So even though I like, I love the way these are. So I might just make the folds different. Just bear with me. <laughs> I like those um, rigidy edges. I do. Okay, we did that this way. I'm watching her there. And I'll just get back. Okay, and what else did I have? Is that the only thing? No, I just need to get this digital trimmed down the center. And just take a hairline off of it. Because the more in the center, it gets pushed out. Whoops. The center gets pushed out, further out. So your pages have to be then trimmed when they get towards the middle. That's the reason why we are running into that issue, that they're sticking out just a little bit. I'm thinking I just have one more, this one. And then that's it. Then I think we're good. We're golden. I love it. Oh my gosh. And what a perfect match. Serendipity. Serendipity. Oh, it's gorgeous. Okay. It's gorgeous and I didn't even do it yet. And it's just going to be one signature. That's it. One signature. So let me check the time. Okay. We're at 32 minutes. I think we can just go ahead and do this today. The one signature. And then I do... Believe it or not, I do already have the front picked out and everything. I, I do have some fabric picked out, I think. I think so. I think. <laughs> um, but let's go ahead and do this today. Let's do it. Why not? What else do we have to do? Okay. I just don't know, should I should I do a, well, it's going to be a hidden spine now, so might as well do the three, I'll do a three hole, I guess. Mm, yeah, because to make it tight, I definitely should do a three hole. I'm just going to have to find the right places in here and then on here all right so we need um my needle i have my needle now my string is probably going to be hidden my string will probably be hidden i think i'll use the green string or i can use the blue no i'll use the green Green looks better with this. That's what I'm looking at. Uh, let me see if it'll come off. I can never do this, ever. Uh, and I say that every time I go to do it, that I can never do it. <laughs> but I take the whole thing apart. I think I found where it goes in. Oh, yay. Look at that. Okay. Whoopee. All right. So I need my ruler. And this is my big ruler. Where's my... Oh, here. All right. So I'm going to find my three holes in here. Um, so 
I'm not good at this. So it's a quarter to the 12. Oh boy. So six would be, six would be the half and then it's a quarter to the 12. So I need a quarter before the six. Eh. That's how I'm gonna do that one. All right, and there's my center. That's one. I'm trying to make it dark enough so I could see. And then I'm gonna take my six and I will do three inches. I think I'm gonna do three inches on either side because it's really, oh, maybe, let me see, two, one, two and a half. Mm, it's so tall. Mm, yeah, maybe I'll do three inches on each side of the six. So I'll do it at the nine. And then I'll do it at the three. Let me just check that. Well, actually, yeah. Yeah, I'll leave it there. I'll leave it like that. So now I'm going to have to find my center in here because this isn't this big. So what did I choose? I chose that the quarter, a quarter to the six, right? No, a quarter before the six. All right. And then I went on the six. So let me, let me figure this out. <laughs> All right. So 11 inches is my paper, right? So 11 Thank you for always bearing with me when I do this. Five and a half and five and a half is 11. So five and a half is the center. And then, so now I wanna do the six and then I wanna do the nine. And then the three. The nine and then the three. All right. So I found my circles, my holes that I need to make in here. Now, on this, I'm going to use my my long arm tool. To get the holes in there. I am. It's just easier. Then I just go one In the center. One, two, and then I'll turn it around and do a, this one. There we go. Okay, so I made the three holes in there, and I'm gonna cover those up too. Um, now the all I'm gonna use to make the holes in here. So I'm gonna, um, when I make the holes, I'm gonna close the, close it. So did I make all these the right way up? I hope so. I did, yes, I know I did. I went through it a few times. Okay, so I'm gonna close this and push it through in the circle I made. I'm gonna push it all the way through. There we go, it's coming out. And then I'm gonna go over here and push this through. There we go. And then I'm gonna come over here and push this through. There we go. Okay. And now I'm gonna get my string. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Sorry, I just jumped right into this. My name is Donna. Thank you for joining me. And we are in doing the 100 day craft project, you guys. Oh yeah, I wanted to say, um, somebody mentioned that they they wanted to do that. They wanted to do the 100 day craft project, I think. I saw the comment somewhere and I just wanted to let you know, you can do the 100 day craft project. You can join in at any time. All right, let me uh, give instructions while I do this. 
So I'm going in through the center of the book, the center hole, and then I'm going to go in through the center here. Is this what I wanted the front? No, hold on. It's not what I wanted the front. I wanted this the front. So I'm going in through the center here. And now I'm gonna bring the string all the way through. Okay, now I'm gonna either choose to go in through the top or the bottom. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna go in through the top. And then I'm gonna go in through my top here, the hole that I made. And with my book sandwich mouth closed, should be coming through, and I did. I did come through. There's a, like a little knot on the end here, so it's not, it keeps getting stuck. I think I'm going to, um, I think I'm going to cut it. This is the second time it's gotten stuck now. Okay, I'll pull it through, pull it, pull it through. <laughs> There's the knot. It keeps getting stuck. Let me let me pull it through and cut that knot and cut this. And then I'll re-thread it. Okay. Now, now that I've done this, I'm gonna give me some more slack here. Now I'm going to come down in my center, you know, skipping over the middle, come out, come over here to the bottom. And I'm going to push that through and then push it through the bottom of the spine. And then, so now I have where I started, long in the center here to come outside. And now I'm going to go back in and go through the center of the binding. And then I'm gonna go through the center in this in the signature. And and with the mouth closed, it should go right in. It did. Okay, perfect. Now when I get inside, be careful you don't split your cord. You got you wanna be just on the side of your cord. So now I have two strings on the inside, one where I started and one from the um where, where it started. <laughs> and I'm gonna put this one, one on one side and one on the other of the center. I'm gonna pull it taut like that. Put this back on. Pull it taut. I'm gonna make sure it's taut out here and it is. We're only doing one signature and I'm gonna then tie a bow and all I'm going to do is tie a bow right now. I don't want to tie any knots or anything like that, just in case I change something before I'm finished. And then I'm going to clip this off like that. Undo all of these things. And there we go. We have our book. Oh my goodness, it feels wonderful. I'm so in love. I'm so in love. I'm so so in love. <laughs> I really am. I didn't think I was going to be able to get this to fold. And I said, I'm not going to do it without you. I'm going to do it with you on camera. And I did. And oh, look at it. It's just so gorgeous. It's gorgeous. I love it. So this digital is available in my Etsy shop. Um, the name of it is Easter Collage Tall um, Bunny Journal Kit. It's brand new. Oh, I just love it. Now, I think it's already 44 minutes, you guys. So, I think, <laughs> I think, I think we'll have to wait till tomorrow. But I'm looking at something like this, but I don't know. I can completely... Um, change everything. I Oh, see? You can't go by what I think because I could just go and change it. 
So, sorry. <laughs> we'll, we'll take back up um, um, on uh, Thursday, day 26. Okay, so tomorrow is, today is day 25, my crafting buddies. Thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you guys again tomorrow for day 26. Okay, bye for now, my crafting buddies.